you doing? Um, it's been a while, but I'm still here. And today what I'm going to bring you is some simple merengue cookies. I love these cookies. They're so simple and they're so light and airy. Um, not really important about this. You need um, <clears throat> a mixer. I have my KitchenAid. If you have a hand mixer, that's fine. Really important. What you're going to use, your bowl and your whisker, they have to be super clean. Meaning no grease, no anything. You have to clean them really well, dry them up. You can't have any grease on them. So what you're going to need is four egg whites that are room temperature, one cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, one teaspoon of vanilla or any other flavor that you're using. Well, I'm doing vanilla. And I'm making them pink because we're having a baby shower. Congratulations to my sister-in-law. And so I'm making them pink. So I'm going to add a few drops of pink. I have my measuring spoon. I also am using a 1M piping um, thing because, excuse me, because um, I want to make them like a little pretty, like little kisses. And I have my piping bag. Now another thing, I have my oven at 225. You have to cook these at 225 for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, you turn off the oven, you leave it alone, you do not open the oven, they have to be in there kind of like drying up for another hour, but shut off, okay? So remember, bake at 45 minutes, turn off the oven, do not open it for another hour, come back, and they're done. Also, you should have like a cookie tray, and I'm putting them on parchment paper, okay? Now another thing, so what we're going to do is, we are going to put our eggs, when they're a little frothy, is when you're going to add your cream of tartar. When you see that they're getting to soft peaks, that's when you start adding your sugar, but you start adding it like two tablespoons at a time. Now when it's formed stiff peaks, that's when you're gonna add your vanilla and your color. And you just mix it in and you're done. And then you add to your piping bag. You can make them letter shapes, like whatever you want, but or you could even make it like a big cookie, but I am making like little kisses. Now in this, Depending what size you make, you should get about four to six dozen of like little kisses. But if you're going to make some big cookies, um, I think you would get maybe a dozen. I'm not sure because I always make them little. But you could always make it like a big cookie. But it looks cuter with little kisses. All right, so what we're going to start first is frothing. So guys, I'm going to start frothing my egg whites. I added them all in. I'm going to go on like a low speed. See that? That's like at a medium, yeah. So now we're going to see when they get a little frothy is when you're going to add your tartar sauce. I mean your cream of tartar. <laughs> Excuse me. Now this is just being patient with all this, okay? Don't do steps too quick or too slow because then the merengue is messed up. Now another thing is, it's if, a, it's, if it's a really humid day, it might not come out, alright? So don't get too mad. You see that? That's getting frothy, right? All right, I'm gonna add the cream of tartar. And put it a little higher. And I'm gonna wait till I form soft peaks. Soft peaks is when you're gonna see it all white, but if you turn it upside down, it doesn't like stay. Um, hard peaks is like, you turn it upside down and it totally stays. We're getting there, we're getting there. Making soft peaks. See? That soft peak where it's still like um, soft like that. Hard peaks is when it totally doesn't fall off. See, that's still soft. Coming down. Okay, so slowly we are gonna add our sugar. Make sure it's incorporated. Once all your sugar is incorporated, you need to beat it on high, medium to high. Till you get those hard peaks, okay? We're getting there. Incorporated all the sugar and I'm putting it in high. And now I'm gonna let it whisk till it's nice and um, really hard peaks, okay? I'll show you when it's ready. See? Hard peaks. That is ready. Now you can that add your pink. You can't really see it because of the camera, but it's pink. And I added the vanilla. See how simple that is? I remember that I had these non-stick cookie trays, so I decided to make it here. 
But if you don't, remember to put some parchment paper on. See that? Got cookies and they are about to go into my oven. Remember, 45 minutes and one hour shut off. Five minutes is up shut off my oven leave it alone for one hour oven Guys, door closed. I just took them out the oven so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let them cool a little more out here for like another 15 minutes and that's it see look nice and dry mmm light and airy meringue cookies super easy super delicious Thank you for watching.